In this video, we're going to be fitting insulation. We're using two types of insulation. The first one is Dynaliner, which is a foam-based insulator. It has thermal and acoustic properties, and it's self-adhesive. The second one is made from recycled bottles. So this is, again, this doesn't absorb moisture um, and creates a really good thermal barrier layer. First thing we need to do is measure up. Um, we're gonna place our Dyna liner straight over the top of our Dyna mat. First thing we do is sort of measure up and see how much we need. Yeah. Okay, let's get those measured and cut. Okay, so we've got our Dyna liner measured and cut. Uh, we're going to peel back the self adhesive backing paper and stick it on. I would say just try and remove a small part of it to start with, otherwise, you can end up in a sticky mess real quick. Okay, so I literally removed a small amount and just folded it back. But we're going to line up the top. So, start the stick. Okay, once you've done that, you can obviously peel it up and peel off the rest of your backing. And then just gently uh, work it down. Don't put it all down in one hit. Start from the top. Let's move it down. You don't need a roller for this one. This one you can just do by hand. And that's it, that's the first piece of Dyna liner on. We'll put the bit on the bottom and that's this all done. We're going to start right to left on this side because we haven't got enough room to go top to bottom. Like so. Let's make sure that that's where we want it to be, that is. Then we can peel the rest of the backing off. Again, just work a bit at a time. There we go, that's the first all done. Let's get on and get the rest done. Okay, so we're ready to dyna line our rear quarter panel. Um, when we did our dynamat, we only stayed inside the actual panel, just to deaden the panel. So, because this is thermal as well, we can bring it to the center and just bring it a little bit further and actually go over the top of the dynamo. So I've cut two pieces out ready. So we're going to do one piece there and the next piece there. So I'll get that fitted. If you have any excess, we can just cut that off, trim that off with a knife or scissors. That's fine, that's gonna stay there anyway. We're gonna be covering that with our next layer of insulation anyway. Okay, so we're gonna put our Dyna liner on the inside of this rear quarter panel. And obviously the shapes aren't as easy as a nice straightforward shape like that, and this is on the outside. So we're gonna to have to tuck some down. Um, so the easiest way to do it is have one long piece to start with, and then we can cut sort of a shape for us to fit into our lower part. Um, and if you do have any gaps left over, you can just use some leftovers to cut those small bits and place it in, that's fine. And we're just gonna try and cover as much as possible. Okay, so that's the main area covered. Um, we can put some little slithers in here and there just to cover up the little bits that we haven't done in that with the two main, main sections. So I'll go ahead and I'll put a couple of little extra bits in just to do a full coverage.
So one of our most important parts to insulate is the roof of the vehicle, as all heat rises and we get a lot of heat loss from the top. So our Dyna liner, we're gonna go over our Dyna mat. Okay, to make things a little bit easier, I've peeled away our backing from the center of our Dyna liner, and I'm gonna start in the middle first. You could start one end and go from one end to the other, but I prefer to sort of start in the middle so we've got an even spread. So that's our center in line. And just basically start from the center and work our way out. Use our hands. There's no need to use a roller, but you can do if you wish. This stuff goes on quite nicely just by using the back of your hand. And there we have it, that's the first piece of our roof down along it. So let's move on to the next bit. Okay, so I've measured up for all of our roof spaces and I've cut it all out ready to go. So our Dyna liner is in strips for the correct sizes of apertures that we're putting it into. So we fitted our Dyna liner insulation to the most of the van. We've got our side panels done. We've got our roof panels done. Now, you can, if you want, it's a bit of an option to do the tailgate. We've got a few scraps left over, um, so we're gonna use them up, why not? So the bits that I had left over, I've sort of cut into shapes to fit onto our tailgate over our dynamat that we've already installed. Again, we're gonna go similar area to where we were. So, there's one, and the other one I cut out for this side. Okay, obviously we've just used up the scraps of what we had left over from our Dyna liner kit. Um, by all means, if you wanted to buy another, another piece to fill the whole of the tailgate, obviously you could do that as well. But as I say, we just wanted to use the scraps up just to help. So that will help thermally and acoustically. Okay, so we've done aligned the whole vehicle. We've got a little bit left, so we're gonna put that in this panel here, because it's a little bit open. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do that. So any of your leftovers, just find some spare space to fill it with your Dyna liner. Brilliant, so that's the van done, Dyna lined. Okay, so for the next part of our insulation uh, is this lovely white fluffy stuff. Now this is made from recycled plastic bottles, so that's really cool. Um, comes in a nice big roll as such, and we can stuff this in every tiny hole that we can find within the van. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Also, it doesn't hold water, so we're just gonna do a quick test and show you. Okay, so that's a really cool property because it's made of plastic. It doesn't actually absorb any moisture. Uh, the moisture actually runs off. Um, so the idea behind that is obviously that you won't get any moisture in your van. And it won't create any mould. As you can see, the majority of the water just rinses out. Because it's plastic, it will just keep draining until all the water's gone. It won't actually hold it. Okay, so for the next part of our insulation, we're gonna put our recycled plastic bottle insulation in now. Now I've cut it to a rough size of the door or the panel that would have been the door. Um, so we're gonna put that bit in first. So again, I've just, I've cut it at the ends and I've cut it through the center and tried to keep it as neat as possible. It stays together really well. I mean, you can pull it apart if you wanna put it in thinner areas, but it does stay together really well. So it's really good. So we get that in and once it's in our our board or our cover or whatever we're putting over the top will go over the top of that. And for the top part, I'm actually going to stuff that right up inside this box section in here. So again, I've cut that to an approximate length, an approximate width. So we'll start with a thin end first. Let's see if we can just gently squeeze that in. Yeah, I think if we take enough time, we can get that fed through. There's nothing in the channel, there's no wiring in the channel. So we know that can go in there and stay in there. The next bit is just the centre bit. I've pre-cut again to an approximate size. 
So we're going to try and tuck it in either end. Okay, so once it's in place, like so, we could just use, by the aid of a cable tie through here, just to hold it, which is what I'm going to do. So I've got just a screwdriver, so be really careful don't to poke yourself in the finger with it, but you can push the screwdriver through our insulation. And then with the handy help of a plastic cable tie, Oh, he says, we can feed it through and go through up here. And just loosely do the cable tie. It's just going to help keep it in place before we put our cover on. That's our first panel uh, double insulated. So we've got our Dyna liner. We've got our Dynamat first for the sound. We've got our Dyna liner for sound and thermal. And then we're finishing off with our thermal layer of recycled plastic. Okay, so for this section of our insulation on the van, we're gonna put it on this rear panel here. And obviously there's nothing for the uh, insulation to either slot into or be held by. So we're gonna to have to applicate spray glue onto here and we're gonna spray glue both sides and just basically glue it up. So the first thing I've done is measure it up, roughly measure it up so we know where we're at, cut the corners out and done the same for the top bit. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll put our spray glue on now. So if you are using spray glue, you need to be in a very well ventilated area or use a mask, like such, um, because this is pretty harmful stuff. We're only gonna do a small bit of it, but I'm still gonna use a mask. So I'll get this on and we'll get cracking. So the glue we're using today is this Trim Fix adhesive. We sell this at Just Campers and it is heat resistant, a very good quality spray glue. So we've glued our insulation onto our part where our panel is going to go. Now this is obviously quite thick insulation, it's 100 mil deep. So if you find that it won't compress enough for our panel to go on later on, you can actually separate it and, and thin it down if you needed to. But we'll wait until we're getting our panel, our panel work in and we'll see if we need to do that or not. For the moment we won't worry. So we're going to go ahead and insulate this cavity here in the rear quarter. Again, this stuff's quite easy to cut using our scissors. Just cut through it in two sort of layers, as it were. Like so. <clears throat> Feed this bit in. And again, any, any bits you have left over from cutting off corners and such like, there's plenty of cavities we can stuff it into to use it all up. So the more you compress it down, the less it's gonna work effectively. So do bear that in mind when you're doing panels and you're stuffing it in really hard. You want it fairly loose. Like so. The other thing to make note of is, in some of these cavities, we're gonna be running wiring so perhaps don't fill your insulation all the way up to the top until you've run your wiring in or you know where your components are going. So our insulation for the roof, obviously we've already done our dyno liner and we're gonna use our white our recycled bottle. Now, there is different sizes on the roof panels, so we're gonna measure up as you can see, there's quite a wide one here. It gets a bit thinner, thinner, and there's a thinner one at the back. So we'll measure up and then we'll cut it on the table to make it easier. And um, again, we're gonna to have to spray adhesive to, to glue this onto the actual panel. Okay, as I was saying earlier, this, this is like 100 mil thick. So this is too thick for our ceiling because we haven't got that much of a void to fill. So I'm actually gonna split this down the middle. And I'm actually gonna try and split this down the middle like so. We 
Okay, now we, as you see, we've cut it in half, so we've got two lengths of what we want. So now we're just gonna measure up our width. And then I'll cut down the middle. It does hold its shape quite well. So it's worth taking the time to cut it reasonably accurately. That's it. So they're the bits that we need. That's what we're gonna to glue to the roof. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the glue on uh, and then get the insulation stuck up. Okay, so our insulation is complete. We've fitted our Dyna liner and we've fitted our recycled bottle insulation. Uh, we've done all the panels, we've done the roof as well and the tailgate and any li little extra holes we had, we've filled those up. So we, we've left these free for the moment until we get the wiring in place and then we'll put a little bit more in there. But um, that's the insulation done. To follow the progress of this van and for more information, visit justcampers.com.